Hey guys, this is Vignesh from Code Android. In this video, we'll see about intern service. If you want to do any long running process which doesn't require user interaction, then we should use services. The service will run in background so that the user can interact with the app without any stutter or lag. For example, to download large files, we can use services so that the user doesn't need to look the boring dialog until the download completes. There are three types of services available in Android. Foreground service, background service and bound service. But we usually split the service into two types. Started service and bound service. The only difference between foreground service and background service is the notification. A foreground service must show the notification in the status bar. As I said, foreground service is a background service which leaves a notification while running in background so that the user can interact with the service. For example, playing music. Background service. As the name suggests, this service will run in background which doesn't notice by the user directly. For example, while doing database operation or checking for notification, we don't need to notify the user. If any notification is available, that time we can notify the user. Bound service. This type of service is bounded to one or more application components using bind service method. When all the components unbind this service, then the service will be killed automatically. Now we'll see about intent service. Intent service is a subclass of service which uses a worker thread to handle the tasks. Using this service, we can do different tasks in a sequence. After completing the task given to the service, it will kill itself automatically. To demonstrate intern service, I am creating a new application with default configuration. You can create a service by right clicking on your project, new, service and service. But this will give a lot of boilerplate codes. This might lead to confusion. To avoid that, I am creating a new Kotlin file, namely my intern service, creating a class as same as file name, which extends intern service. Inside, we need to pass a parameter called name. Here, we need to pass the class name. Implementing the method on handle intent. Using a for loop, creating log as service doing something and appending value of i. To make this loop runs longer, sleeping for a second on every iteration. We are getting a warning saying service is not registered in manifest. Open Android manifest. Inside application tag, inserting service tag with our service. Creating an intent pointing to my intern service starting this intent using start service method now we'll launch the application you can see we are getting the log for every second duplicating the service call and changing the variable name but we need to identify which call is executing now. To do that, adding a type in the intent variable. Declaring two constants namely type1 and type2. Now assigning the constants to the intents. In our service, printing the type value in the log line. Sorry, we can't append string with integer, so converting the integer into string using toString method. Now we'll launch the application. You can see our service is executing first intent. After completing first intent, it started executing second intent. Like this, intent service can execute different intents with different codes. Let's simplify this. Using when method, comparing the type value. If the type is equals to type1, then printing the log line as task1. 
Instead of this log line, we need to insert the code for task 1. If the type is equals to type 2, then printing the log line as task 2. Now we'll launch the application. Sorry, I forgot to show an important part. You can see we closed our app, but still the service is running in background and printing the log lines. This is the main use of service. Even our app is not in foreground, the service can run in background. You can see as we expected, the task 1 is executed first and it started executing task 2. That's all for this tutorial guys. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you have any doubt, please put it in the comment section. I will try to answer it. Hope you like it. I will see you in my next video. Have a good day.